India is the world's second largest producer of fish. Sustainable fisheries management is becoming crucial for climate resilience, nutrition security, and export growth. Looking ahead, Niti Aayog's Blue Economy Strategy focuses on modernizing fleets and achieving global leadership in deep sea fisheries beyond 2033. India is the world's second largest producer of fish and a leading producer of shrimp, highlighting the growing economic and social importance of its fisheries and aquaculture sector. Together, these sectors support over 30 million livelihoods, many of which come from marginalized coastal and inland communities. Sustainable fisheries management is becoming crucial for climate resilience, nutrition security, and export growth as India develops its blue economy. Fisheries contributed 1.09% of India's GDP and 6.2% of agricultural GDP, with marine product exports rising by 11% to US dollar 0.9 billion in October 2025. Coastal fishing villages, which produce 72% of the nation's fish and contribute 76% of seafood exports, play a critical role in employment and social security. Fish is also an important source of affordable protein micronutrients and omega-3 fatty acids helping meet national nutrition needs while healthy marine ecosystems support biodiversity carbon storage and climate adaptation fisheries are a strategic component of India's blue economy contributing to maritime security coastal development and ocean-based industries India has seen rapid growth in fish production doubling from 9.6 million tons to 19.5 million tons with inland fisheries growing 140 percent and now contributing 8% of global output. Seafood exports reached 62,408 crore rupees in 2024 to 2025. Inland fisheries such as river ranching, reservoir fisheries and cold water fisheries have expanded, supporting rural livelihoods. Technological advancements like bioflock systems, recirculatory aquaculture, GIS-based mapping and early warning systems have strengthened production while infrastructure development under PMMSY includes cold storage, transport facilities, and fish kiosks. Challenges include overfishing, habitat degradation, marine pollution, climate change impacts, fragmented value chains causing post-harvest losses, regulatory issues, disease outbreaks in aquaculture, social issues including women's recognition and interstate conflicts, and balancing sustainability with profitability. Biosecurity gaps also affect export quality, the government has introduced initiatives such as PMMSY, the Blue Revolution, Fisheries and Aquaculture Infrastructure Development Fund, and the National Fisheries Digital Platform to modernize the sector, expand aquaculture, improve credit access, and support climate-resilient coastal communities. Women receive special assistance and access to concessional credit. Digital tools like the RealCraft portal and Nabamitra app enhance safety and transparency. The 2025 National Marine Fisheries Census provided detailed socio-economic data to guide policies. Looking ahead, Niti Aayog Blue Economy Strategy focuses on modernizing fleets, upgrading infrastructure, promoting sustainable practices, mobilizing resources, and increasing community participation. A phased approach envisions early growth from 2025 to 2028, scaling up by 2032, and achieving global leadership in deep sea fisheries beyond 2033. With sustainability, technology, inclusive governance, and infrastructure development, India's fisheries and aquaculture sector can become a global leader, strengthening communities and harnessing aquatic resources for a hopeful future. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And before you leave, don't forget to answer this question in the comments below. Question. Which technology is used in Indian aquaculture for sustainable production? A. Bioflock systems. B. Solar desalination. C. Hydroponics. D. Drip irrigation.